Well, good day, everybody, and here we are back once again. I am Creighton, and Gabriel is also here with me via Team Talk, as we've always hey done guys. for the past few times. Yep. Um, Actually, for most of them. Um, no. Well, back in the early ones, we did Skype, but that was because Skype was actually useful uh, back in the day. It but, was. But now, um, it, well, Skype 8 for Mac is pretty good. Uh, by default, eh. with Windows, it, it needs some work still, especially when it comes to reading chats. Um, it just, it, it's not where it needs to be. And I've mm -hmm. also seen trouble where it has issues where you, uh, you go to accept contact requests, which... Uh, oh, yeah. That's a bit of a bug. Um, it's a little bit of a mess. But we, we've been using Team Talk, even though uh, on Mac it's a little bit of a wreck. We've gotten around yeah, it. Yeah. Um, but it works. You know, it I mean, works. You it's, can get it to work. It's not the prettiest, but it works. No. And uh, actually, today is going to be. I hope. Just a little bit of a. Not really a long winded video. Um, yeah. I really hope not, because if so, then at some point I'll have to upgrade our to Institube account. Um, but oh shoot, right? Because we're doing audio, aren't we? Yeah. So this one, yeah. Um, hopefully, it's not long-winded. Um, yeah. And if so, our, I'll our last one wasn't that bad. So sampling rate. But anyway, um, I'll keep an eye out on the recording time since I'm using Amadeus Pro. So we've only been going for about a minute and. 50 seconds um so i today i've come to talk about something that happened actually here real recent um and it's actually a good thing um it really is yes um and uh i'm gonna go ahead and talk about it so Last week on uh, another friend's uh, Team Talk server, I had gotten approached by somebody that came up there and they asked, uh, they told me that they had known me, um, they had told me that they had known it from, and excuse the watch going off, um, which interesting observation, by the way, about that. If you have messages opened on the Mac, messages on the watch won't go off. But if you have messages no. closed on the Mac, messages on the watch will go off. Yeah. Just a little interesting observation that I made. But anyway. A little bit sidetracked, but um, that is actually really interesting. So he... Um, it's not a bug, by the way. It's just a little interesting how they've done it. But anyway... So he told me, he said, are you the one guy that uh, worked on some of the Mac tutorials on YouTube with Gabriel? And I said, yes, um, I am. I said, we just decided, oh, what, what, um, what has it been, Gabriel, now? Almost, um, almost, let's see, 18, 17, almost three years ago. Yeah. It'll be three years this December. Um, December or June when I no, got my Mac? No, actually, you know what? No, it was June. That's right. It was June when we did the YouTube Yeah, because stuff. me and you started talking a lot more when I got my Mac. And you got it around June, if I remember. Um, yeah. That's about accurate. And Maybe like June 20th-ish? Yeah. So we've been doing it since then. And I remember Quite a while. Gabriel got his Mac and he learned it very quickly like me yeah Spent tons of time and coming from coming from vms as well and actually as a backstory um i know we're trying to cut short on time here but um and if what creighton's about to talk about next happens and i am able to join him this is the same backstory that i'm going to give and i'll let creighton get into that in a second here so, I've wanted a Mac for a pretty long time before I got mine. Um, you know, if you talked to me on Skype, you know, a while back, you would know that, oh, you know, I'd complain because my parents wouldn't get me a Mac and shit. And if you had a Mac, I'd be like, oh, dude, you're so fucking lucky you have a Mac. 
Yeah. I don't have one, and I kind of want one. So, long story short, um, I had my school laptop, which was a Toshiba satellite, I believe, and I ran a Mac OS Mountain Lion virtual machine on that computer, which ran decently smooth, I guess. Um, it lagged from time to time, and I'd have to reset the VM um, again from time to time, but, you know, I learned Mac pretty quickly on that. Then, sixth grade, end of elementary for me, so I'm graduating grade six, comes around. Um, We're having awards and stuff, and I was awarded student of the year. So then, uh, my parents took me out for lunch, obviously, from school, and I came back to school and stuff like that. I'm going to leave all those boring details out. And over lunch, we've been talking, you know, mom's like, oh, you got student of the year. How about we get you a Mac or something? And I jumped on the opportunity at once because I knew if I waited, my mom would probably be like, ah, no. So long story short, after school, um, we get into our van. I believe we were in the Honda, uh, Creighton. Oh. Um, we get into the van, we head, you know, on a 20, 30 minute drive to our nearest Apple store. I picked my Mac, which is this one, which I somewhat regret because my space, but I don't regret because the Mac is great. Um, and that's how I have my Mac today. And it's, it's been solid. I mean, I've had a few issues, but you know, nothing formatting couldn't fix. And I'll tell you formatting really did fix those issues. Um, I won't get into those right now. And, and by the now way, I we, will have, let we have a video coming out um, here pretty soon. I haven't made the recording of it yet, but I want to talk about... Uh, I'm going to talk about ways that you can get around a lot of these bugs that people are reporting um, and, and that people are having. And uh, I'm going to talk about that. And uh, one of the ways... My issue is pretty interesting. Um, that you can prevent some of these bugs from happening is by not doing um, an upgrade on the OS and do a clean install. So, Mm -hmm. anyway, back to the story. Um, He had asked me, he had told me that he is from Arkansas, if I remember right, and he told me that he worked for uh, their services for the blind, which every state has one, um, and just about every country has one as well. So yeah. he, he told me that he worked for them and that he was the main founder of their Apple training program. Um, so they do Mac training, they do iOS training, um, they do all sorts of Apple training. And he told me that he mm-hmm. had went to the um, Apple main campus and took their teaching course for a month. And mm. um, he said that was a, a, a wonderful experience. And then he brought up um, if I would like to join him and um, if we, uh, if I could present a little bit about Apple hardware and Apple software and how voiceover and the low vision features work in Mm -hmm. those types of contexts, which of course, knowing that I have used Apple products for a long time. That's why he pretty much asked. And I said, okay, uh, that sounds wonderful. I said, just get in contact with me and, um, you know, we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and, um, and set something up. Now, what I don't know yet, because I know that they're kind of a busy company and they have a busy schedule. Um, I don't know whether it's going to be this week or if it's going to be next week, um, I don't know yet. Um, and we, uh, he and we been... also don't know because I said to Creighton after he told me these this news yesterday or so, and I told him, you know, I'd love to join you guys, but we don't know also if it is during the week, if it accommodates with my schedule, because even if you know my you know my parents would not let me skip just for that interview. So yeah, and. Um... So we're we're very excited about this. Um, even if mm-hmm. Gabriel cannot join, 
Um, I'm going to record it for him um, so that way yeah. he can get a taste of what was presented. Um, yeah. But this is very big news. Mm-hmm. Uh, when we originally put out this channel, we originally put it out because we felt that, uh, yeah. and like I told Justin, I said, you know, let's let's be for real here. What Applevis has for Mac users, it's a little bit out of date. Uh, not much has changed, though. Yeah. But some stuff has changed. Mm-hmm. Um, I know for the sure. mail app has changed. Um, oh, yeah. You know, different things of that nature. But, uh, you know, there's a couple other things, like in Safari. Uh, but mm-hmm. other than that, you know, it's been the same. But we just wanted to get a more up-to-date version with yeah. training tutorials and materials uh, used for um, used for um, you know training purposes. And we had no idea mm-hmm. that a uh, service would actually use those as. Um, you know, for training purposes, which I think is absolutely wonderful. And That's we amazing, have no yeah. problem with those training services using our tutorials. No. Um, now, will we make more of them now? Yes, because we know that. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, that when big companies that are could trying to use them. And who knows where this could take not only. Uh, this but Their who company. knows where it could take me yeah who knows where it could take gabriel i mean we don't know yet yep. um yeah we're just going to have to find out on yep. how that works and um you know if it if it i don't know what it might come down to it even could to me anyway it could come down to a job um i i don't know yet and um yeah, and if, like justin and if I, there was something to like sorry if there was something too you know that you know me and creighton have an even closer relationship because of this than we are now and you know maybe meetups could be arranged for me and creighton there you know once this takes us somewhere and yeah you know i i really um you know i was really surprised hearing that news and i really have to thank justin for approaching creighton because I mean, honestly, it's it just it impresses me to know that a big company is using our tutorials, using some of the programs we've demonstrated um, to train people with Apple devices, and that's that's the impressive part. That's the part that really surprised me when uh, Creighton's told me this news. The, the first, and you know, yeah, it it really is. Um, and f- our goal with this YouTube channel. Um, was not really like that was not our intent, and that was like a surprise to me and Creighton. And as you guys know, our goal is not to be, you know, hardcore professional, you know, with you know studios and shit like that. That was not our intent. And you know, it's just amazing, you know, the kind of people that are, are you know, viewing our videos that kind of thing and you know maybe you know we don't get as many comments as we want to but it doesn't matter because you know when you get approached and when you get that kind of news that someone is using your content to you know for the good of other people you know training them you know with apple devices for example that's just really that's the rewarding feel of this channel and it's not really my intent to set up Google AdSense and anything like that. No. You know, that's not mm-hmm. my goal to get paid with this. Maybe my main channel down the line. But this channel was strictly made for helping people. And, you know, that's what I like doing for a while now. And I think Creighton almost the same. Yes. Um, absolutely. And... Um, mm-hmm. Something else that I must uh, mention here too is that uh, I want to talk briefly. Oh gosh. Um, uh. I don't, period, but I can check later, period. 
That's not very good. Man, um, Apple Watch is useful. Uh, Apple Watch is useful. Yes. Oh, it's very useful, <laughs> and we'll talk about that yep. in another thing. Um, <laughs> I want to talk briefly about why have we stuck with Apple even through the hard times with voiceover and with some of the bugs that you know we've had yeah well i think a lot of it has to do with simplicity Mm -hmm. um i was talking to somebody who's not really an apple fan earlier and i said one thing you'll have to admit is that apple i said i know to you uh being completely blind uh this doesn't mean much but back when i had sight you know a little bit of sight in my right eye which i won't get into how that dissolved but um, what ended up happening what uh, so the thing about Mac OS is that throughout the builds of Mac OS um, we have not had very many visual changes no nope. um, and I know to some people that's bad because they want visual changes but to others, um, that's a good thing. Um, mm-hmm. For and sure. And I think that voiceover, um, there's a lot of features that blind people want in voiceover, but I don't think are necessarily for sure. needed in a screen reader. And yeah. In the presentation, I'll go into that more. Because um, mm-hmm. I'm going to write out some notes this week. Um smart and uh, I'll write them out and I'll share them um, with Gabriel at some point but yes anyway essentially because the screen reader is built in because office uh, Microsoft Office is not uh, or not the Microsoft Office geez because I work I life all that is free with the Mac purchase, then why go away from something that isn't broke? Um, VoiceOver is not broke. I think the people that uh, are having these bugs um, have broken things. But um, quite frankly, I think Mojave is pretty stable for what it is. Yeah, there's some things that VoiceOver for doesn't sure. read right, but yeah. that's even in Windows 10. Um, I don't want, I don't want to hear present that um, you know Windows 10 has things that it don't read. Oh, trust me. Um, yeah, it has some things that it doesn't read properly. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think that what Apple has done, and I think we need to give credit where credit is due. Um, yeah, that what Apple has done here with the Apple Watch, they first started putting accessibility into the Mac platform back in 2005, and then it oh, expanded yeah. to the iPod, um, the iPod, um, iPhone, Mano, and yeah. uh, Nano in 2008, with the fourth generation yeah. that came out. Um, except it wasn't voiceover, it was mainly more of a text to speech thing where it had to sync with iTunes on your PC or Mac. But it was yeah. cool how it worked, and it was cool how it worked back then. Um, For sure. But then uh, Mac accessibility got better, and then the iPhone came out with VoiceOver, and Apple introduced yeah. a new way for people with um, vision loss to use the phone. And yeah. um, I know some people complain that you can't use um, you can't use um, regular um oh um crap huh um anyway um i'll look at that here in just a minute um anyway what essentially what what i'm trying to say is that since the, I think really since the 
iPod Nano's release of the fourth generation, uh, including voiceover. And then uh, in the updated iPod Nanos, they've improved it. Uh, they, they had improved it. Of course, they don't make the Nano anymore. Um, no. But when they did have it, it had voiceover. Um, it's a shame that I lost. I have no idea where it went, but it's a real big shame I don't have my iPod Nano anymore. I might that is a real find big one shame on eBay it and grab it and do a, a demo of it because it, it is pretty cool, um, especially it the new a, 7th mine gen. Mine was a, uh, oh yeah, that's the one I had. And uh, with the touch I enjoyed on it, it when I so had cool. it. Um, how I enjoyed that thing that. when I had it. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, and, and with their Apple Watches um, as well. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, thank you, Hockey Game. Um, you know, they come loaded with the screen reader. And yeah. I know Android has their own thing now. Uh, um, which I'm think I'm uh, by next year or so. Um, I'll be doing some Google testing, so I'll be able to elaborate a lot more on what stock Android yeah. is like. But I will tell you that it is nothing like the iOS and macOS and watchOS and even Apple TV. Um, For sure. Because, you know, with the Amazon mm -hmm. Fire, you're kind of... Uh, one of the big issues that I have is that if your Amazon Fire is running an older OS, you have to update it in order to get voice view. And I know that's how it used Which to be. Is... But on the Apple TV, see, they've never had to go through that. No. Because they were smart and built it in, you know, a while ago. And... But that's, um, you know, that's why I love Apple so much. And because, you know, they actually try to incorporate and think about people with low vision or completely blind or anyone else with disabilities. Because you see these other, you know, Microsoft where they're late to the party of thinking of blind visually impaired people yes and it's like narrator is a bitch to use i mean it's improved i'll admit that although i'd still not use it once it's you know the only screen reader you have a choice for when that happens then i'll have to get used to the fact that my games don't work on mac probably won't and i'll have to figure out what i do from there but honestly apple's done a great job at thinking about the accessibility of their platforms and you know I know Creighton doesn't l really like hearing the word you know oh this is accessible but you know Apple has done a great job at incorporating these you know incorporating these you know so these screen readers and zoom and stuff like that and I think um, with a little more support from the users I think um, in, in, in a good way you know not this bash support yeah. that blind companies have done for too long and yeah um, you know that's why I'm very passionate about what Apple has done mm -hmm. I think that what they've done yeah. is remarkable I think that uh, you know, us being able to use these products, um, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and have them fully speech capable and compatible. I yeah. think that that um, really uh, works very well. And um, so, mm -hmm. you know, I think that that's wonderful. I really do. And um, yeah, it is. So that that's basically the video today. Uh, we're going to put that yeah. out as soon as we can. Um, yep, and I'm also we got Apple Watch stuff to upload that we haven't uploaded yet, so uh, we'll so probably upload those. F Actually, you know what? Let's upload them in the order we did them. So we'll upload the Apple Watch stuff first, and then 
yesterday's video than today. Just okay. You know, um, depending yeah. on how big the Apple Watch stuff is, though. Um, oh sh Right now, we I can't I can't uh, do too much about that right now. Um, All right. Until later. Um, but um, we yeah. just know, guys, that we do have some stuff For saved sure. that we haven't uploaded yet. Okay. But yeah, um in case you know you do see the Apple Watch videos late, we do have our Apple Watches. So, you know, stay tuned. You know, like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell to stay up to date with our latest videos and again, I want to one last time put forth a big thank you to Justin. You know who you are. Yes. Um <clears throat> We appreciate it, especially Creighton, because I wasn't the one who was approached. But you know, being one of the owner, being the main owner of this channel, it's it's a reward that our stuff is being recognized by a large company. So that's going to be it for this video, and uh, we will see you in the next one. Yep.